we are going to take a look at dividing decimals by whole numbers. So to begin, you are going to place the decimal point in the quotient above the decimal point in the dividend. Then you divide as you would with whole numbers and you continue until there is no remainder. So our first problem is 7.6 divided by four. When it is written horizontally, the first number goes in the dividend, which is underneath the division bar, and the second number is our divisor, so that goes out in front. I'm going to move the decimal point up into the quotient and then divide as I normally would. Four goes into seven once. One times four is four. I subtract and I have three. I bring down the next digit in the dividend, which is six. 36 divided by four is nine. So I put nine in my quotient above the six. Nine times four is 36. I subtract and I have zero. So my quotient is one and nine tenths. On the second problem on your paper, if you could actually change where you have 4.38, and could you change that to 4.32, and then divided by 12 will stay the same. So I will place four and 32 hundredths in my dividend divided by 12. Again, what is listed first goes underneath in the dividend and I'm dividing it by the number becomes the divisor. I'm going to move the decimal point up to my quotient and then divide as I normally would. 12 cannot go into four, so then I ask how many times can 12 go into 43, which is three times. So the three goes in my quotient above the three, three times 12 is 36. When I subtract, I get seven. And then I bring down the next digit in the dividend, which is two. 72 divided by 12 is six. So I put six in my quotient. If you have to multiply 12 times six out to the side, you can do that. Six times two is 12, carry the one. Six times one is six plus one is seven. So I have 72. A remainder of zero. So my quotient is 36 hundredths. Now we are going to take a look at when we have decimals in the dividend and the divisor. So for this, you are going to multiply the dividend and the divisor by a power of 10 to make the divisor, and then it continues on your sheet, a whole number. You'll then place the decimal point in the quotient and divide as you would with the whole numbers. Continue until there is no remainder. So I just didn't finish that sentence on my sheet. So now we're going to go ahead and continue. Again, the first number that is listed, so in this case, 18 and 2 tenths is my dividend. My number that is listed second is my divisor, which is 1.4. Let me erase this so I have some more room up here. So in the divisor, I notice I need to move the decimal point once to the right, which means I am multiplying it by 10. So I also need to move it once to the right in the dividend, which means I'm also multiplying that number by 10. And then I'll go ahead and move it up just in case we still need that decimal. Then I'm going to divide. If you want to rewrite the problem, you can do that. 182 divided by 14. 18 divided by 14 is 1, so the 1 goes above the 8. 1 times 14 is 14. I subtract and I have 4. I bring down my next digit in the dividend, which is 2. 42 divided by 14 is 3. So 3 times 14, if you need to write it out. 3 times 4 is 12. I carry my 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So that is 42. I have a remainder of 0. And since my decimal point is to the right of the 3, it's not necessary for me to include it because it's just a whole number of 13. In my next problem, 
273 thousandths divided by 39 hundredths. So again, my first number is going to be my dividend divided by my second number, which is my divisor. Again, I'll erase this here to have some more room. So I can see in my divisor, I need to move the decimal point twice to the right. In other words, I'm multiplying by 100. Each zero moves the decimal point once to the right. So I also have to remove the decimal point of my dividend also twice to the right. So I'm going to rewrite my problem. And I really can just write the dividend as 27.3 and remove the zero before the two divided by 39. And I'm going to move the decimal point up into the quotient. So 27 cannot be divided by 39. So I'm going to estimate here. 39 is close to 40. So I'm going to count by my multiples. 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, 280. So I have seven times. This is a 273 is above 280, so you may have to start and guess with 6 first, or perhaps you can try 7. So since 273 divided by 39 is 7, the 7 will go above the 3. And then I have to multiply 39 times 7. So 7 times 9 is 63. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 6 would be 27. So in fact, 39 goes into 273 seven times because I have a remainder of zero. So my quotient is 0.7, which in other words is 7 tenths.